So we've met translations when we were looking at core one. And in this video, I want to revisit translations, uh, but put a bit of a core two spin on it uh, before we start looking at other graph transformations. Okay, so let's start with the curve y is equal to 2 to the x. Okay, so we should know how to sketch this. So if we have a go at that, should get a curve that looks like this. That's y is equal to 2 to the x. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to perform a couple of translations on this curve. So, for example, we might want to translate the curve by the vector, let's say 0, 1. Okay? So, effectively, we want to move this uh, curve up one unit. Because that's what a translation is. It picks up the curve and just moves it to some other place. It in no way uh, changes the shape of the curve. Okay, it doesn't like stretch it in any way or make it smaller. Um, it doesn't change size. It doesn't twist around or anything. It stays in exactly the same shape. So. What this is going to do is it's going to push all of this curve up one place. And so the curve would now look something like this. So, oh, sorry, now going through 2 on the y-axis. Okay. Now we want to be able to write down what that equation is, the equation of this new curve. So what is it? So if I translate y is equal to 2 to the x by 0, 1, what's happened is that all the y values are now one more than they previously were. So previously, they were 2 to the x. But because they're now one more, it's 2 to the x plus 1. And this is the equation of my new curve, this red curve here. So how can we look at that in more general terms? Well, what you could see is that with a translation, I've effectively replaced the y with y minus 1. Okay, so let's write this in a general format. So if we want to translate uh, y equals f of x by, well, let's keep it as 0, 1 then our new equation is y is equal to f of x plus 1. So what's happening is you're replacing x with x minus 0. Okay, so the x stays exactly the same because x is the same as x minus 0. And you're replacing y with y minus 1. Now, how does this link in with that? Okay, so it links in by saying, right, if I'm replacing x with x minus 0 and y with y minus 1, I now have y minus 1 is equal to f of x minus 0. So y minus 1 equals f of x, and then you can just add the 1 to both sides of the equation and you get to this format. So this is a general rule that will allow us to translate a curve. So if I write this in more general terms, so if we now think of this as the vector AB, then I'm replacing the x with x minus a and the y with y minus b. So I'm going to have y minus b is equal to f of x minus a. And so I would have f of x minus a plus b by adding b to both sides. OK, so our general format here, if I get the correct colours, is f of x minus a plus b. OK, and this is the general, this bit in green is the general bit of how that process works. And that works for every 
example. So let's say that now I want to translate this curve. So translate y equals 2 to the x, this time by 1, 0. OK? Now, if I translate it by 1, 0, then I am replacing the x with x minus 1 and the y with y minus 0. So the y doesn't change, but the x does, because it's now 2 to the x minus 1. So that now, if it's y is equal to 2 to the x minus 1, it has translated this black curve one unit to the right. OK? So it now matches that one. But we'll actually go through there. Now, I haven't actually written down what y value it is, OK? What is the y value? Well, this is where you could effectively bring in some logarithms. Because you're now asking, well, not some logarithms, sorry. Because you're now asking where x is 0. And x is 0 when y is equal to 2 to the minus 1, which is a half. And so this point here is one half. OK? So this is how we can work with translations. OK? And we were used to working with translations in core one with uh, cubics and quadratics and things like that. OK? But we can now extend it to things like uh, exponential curves and um, trig graphs and all sorts. Okay, so we can look at it in more in a more general form. Okay, but this is how we worked with translations and how we can now work with them here. So let's do it from the other way around. Let's uh, write down a curve. So let's say we've got the curve. Uh, y equals, um, let's keep with 2 to the x. So 2 to the x plus 4 uh, plus 3. Um, and this is being transformed so that it is now y is equal to 2 to the x minus 1. OK? Describe the transformation that gets me from there to there. Effectively, what I'm doing, what I'm asking, is how do I get from y is equal to f of x plus 4 plus 3 to y is equal to f of x minus 1? This is exactly the same question. So this is a translation that gets me from here to here. Okay. So it is definitely a translation by a particular vector. Now, inside the bracket, I've gone from x plus 4 to x minus 1. OK? So in order to get from x plus 4 to x minus 1, I would have to replace the x in here with x minus 5. And if I'm replacing the x with x minus 5, a would have to be 5. And I can also see the y, um, we've got this plus 3 on the end, which disappears. And so this curve is 3 units higher than this curve that it's being transformed to. And so it is reducing by 3 units. And so we are going to have to have minus 3. So that is the translation vector in this case. So I'm going to show you another example. Uh, in the next video, um, which will be use a useful add-on to this.